well, look at that. Lord of the Rings, War in the North. I am very interested to try this game. This is my uh, first time, second time I've ever fired it up. The first time was to test a couple things. I think we're pretty set. Um, man, I am a huge, huge Tolkien fan. And uh, Lord of the Rings has just always had a very special place in my heart. So, the downside of being a gamer and loving Lord of the Rings is that we don't have a ton of Lord of the Rings games. Um, Warner Brothers has got the rights to this, and they're fairly stingy with them, and rightfully so. I'm sure uh, they don't want the name just thrown around and made into a bunch of garbage. Um, insert mobile game stuff here. And some people would say Lord of the Rings Online's garbage. I, I have it. I've tried to play it a fair amount. I'm an MMO guy, and it's it's okay. It's okay. I think it would get a lot better if I'd stick with it. I just haven't had the friends or the the patience really to do it. Maybe one of these days I will. But uh, anyways, getting sidetracked. So War in the North. Basically, what this game is, uh, and I'll just read you a couple little things from the wiki here. So a lot of people are not very familiar with this game, I feel. And the reason, there's a couple good reasons for that. It's not that the game is bad, okay? The, the game got some negative press. The biggest thing that shot this game in the foot was that it released 10 days before Skyrim. And it released the same day as Uncharted 3. And there was a, another game, uh, let me look here. Uh, another game came out about the same, ah, right here several weeks after Dark Souls. So we had Dark Souls come out. This was all about the, yeah, 2011, my first first year of college. Uh, just gave away my age, oops. Um, yeah, 2011 was my first year of college that fall. And we have Dark Souls had come out, Uncharted 3 came out the same day, and 10 days before Skyrim. So this game got buried by uh, some very legendary games there. Now, that being said, like like I mentioned earlier, it is not a bad game from what I've heard. It's a mix of a role-playing game with a hack-and-slash action-adventure. Uh, it's got three-player co-op. I am on the PC, so I've heard that there's some something you got to download to make the co-op work because the, the service that was used to make the online work is obviously no longer, um, you know, in operation. So, I've heard it's very doable, though. You do a couple... Uh, I love the Steam community. They post guides about how to fix these things. So there's a guide out there somewhere. But uh, essentially, you have a mage, elf lady. Uh, oh, I should say their name. Andriel. Andriel, whatever. We'll find out. She's the mage. And you have Aradin, which is your Dunedain ranger, kind of Aragorn-esque. He's, uh, you know, two-handed uh, blades with a bow. Then you have Farin. And uh, Farin is your awesome dwarf. I am a huge dwarf fan. I always thought that they were the most underrated in the in Peter Jackson's depiction of the movies. Now, obviously, I understand that the War of the Ring uh, in the areas where the movies are predominantly taking place, there, there ain't much for dwarves. But the only dwarf action you get is when they go through Moria and they're all dead for very good reason. So... This game apparently runs parallel and intersects with the main story that was told um, in the books and in the, especially in Peter Jackson's films. I've heard that this was, because uh, Warner Brothers, of course, um, it does run alongside of that. Now, I've heard it, it parallels it, and obviously, like it says, War in the North. We're not going to be in the Gap of Rohan or in Gondor, I don't think. Like I said, I have not looked at spoilers for this game. Um, I've heard the story's decent. Uh, and, you know, even if it's not the most riveting, I will say, as a like I, like I said earlier, as a Tolkien fan, I look forward to seeing what's here. Even if it is just meh. You know, it's something. And it is, uh, apparently from all sources I read, it is canon. Now take that with a grain of salt because, I mean, somebody had to stamp approval on this through the franchise so I don't know how that all works but I'd like to think this is canon um yeah 
I have no idea. I don't think these characters are mentioned in the books. I could be completely wrong. Um, let's see here. If there's anything else I need to... So, this game, just so you know, we're going to be doing one playthrough of it. It has an easy and a normal difficulty. We'll probably play it on normal, so we have a little challenge. Uh, I don't generally like playing through on easy, but we'll see. And then you get a new game plus, which is heroic. And then after that's beat, you can get legendary, which is the hardest. Um, if you do new game plus, you keep your equipment, money, updated stats, and unlock skills from pl pl uh, previous playthroughs. So it just looks like a, a good, good, solid, fun game. I've heard this game is roughly, if you 100% it, I've read several accounts that say it's approximately 30 hours. However, I've seen Let's Plays on YouTube that are shorter than that. I'm sure there's a lot of editing in them. Uh, and they're doing it in like 20-something episodes. We'll see. I'm kind of a completionist, but I don't know how... You know, I doubt this is free roaming. It's probably fairly linear, but it should be fun. So, I wanted something to change it up. I still will be doing my, my other Let's Plays on the side of this. This is just something I'm going to do from time to time. Um, <clears throat> you know, to put some different content on the channel. And uh, also to have a bit of fun. So, let's jump into this really quick and uh, get into specifics on the character. All right, well, I guess to start a new game, I'm just going to click one of these people, and uh, we're going to be farting. I sure hope I'm saying their names right, or everyone's going to be like, No, that's not their name. You're an idiot. I mean, they're not wrong. All right. Select game. New game. Uh... All right, let's do normal. Here we go, folks. I guess. How do I click start here? I'm missing something. I selected it. Oh, here we go. You're about to launch the game. Are you sure? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Just kidding. We're doing this. To middle off we go. Of the Great War of the Ring. Many songs have been sung, and many tales told. The names of heroes like Gandalf the Grey, Aragorn the King, and Frodo the Ringbearer are greatly revered, and rightly so. Yet Sauron's grasp stretched much further than the lands of Gondor and Rohan alone, and his forces might have done great evil in the north of Middle-earth had a handful of heroes not stood in his path. Their stories, too, deserve to be told. Pay heed now to one such tale, which begins here in the town of Bree, just a few short days before Frodo arrived on his quest. Aragorn. Enadon. Well met. And in company with Andriel of Rivendell and Farin of Erebor. An unlikely trio to find walking through the doors of the Prancing Pony. You were at Sarn Ford last I knew. Do you bear news from Harbarad? Yes. Grim news. I feared it would be so. Quickly, tell me what has happened, but keep your voices low. There are unfriendly ears, even here in Bree. Three days passed. The guard at Sarn Ford was attacked by nine black riders. We were overwhelmed, and the enemy passed into the Shire. This is worse than I imagined. I know these riders. It is from Mordor they come. Our folk could not hope to stand against the Nine together. How bad were our losses? Very bad. We tried to resist them, but they were surrounded by an aura of unnatural dread. There is more you should know. After the rout, one of the Black Riders met with an ally, 
a man of great malice and power. Master commanded. I have stirred up the orcs of the mountains. Even now, I have a force gathering amid the ruins of old Fornost. Return at once and prepare your forces. We will have need of them soon. My orcs will be ready. These lands have known peace for too long. They will soon feel the Dark Lord's wrath. This Agandar has a force at Fornost, then our position grows all the more desperate. But why all this force against the peaceful halflings? It can't be the enemy sees them as a threat. I will say this much. There is a hobbit of the Shire who should be coming this way with a great burden. If it falls into the hands of the enemy, it will mean doom for us all. Now this hobbit is adrift on the road with enemies all around. I must find him before they do. And I need you to help me keep him safe. You are my chieftain. I will gladly do whatever you command. I, I'm a part of this now as well. Then we three are of one mind. How can we aid you? We must reduce the threat from the enemies gathered at Fornost. Travel there and do whatever you can to keep the enemy's eye turned towards you and away from the Shire. Perhaps we will have help in this task. Eladan and Elro here were in the north when last I heard. Any gathering of the enemy is certain to attract their attention. Good. You could find no better allies than the sons of Elrond half elven I hope we meet. But with or without help, the enemy will be kept busy. We'll make sure of that. And just like that, we are in Bree. In the Prancing Pony. And this guy doesn't sound like Aragorn, so he's an imposter. Let's take him out. Just kidding. That's that's awful. I'm sure they could aff afford to hire Vigo to come in and voice this game. Let me tell you. Okay. Ooh. Music's nice. Um, the composer. I'm a musician, so you know I care about these things. But the guy who composed this also composed Dragon Age Origins. Another great game that I need to play. Um, yeah. Boy, I like the atmosphere music a lot. Dig it. All right, so I have a crossbow on my back. How do I? Uh, I'm just gonna warn you right now, folks. This is a bit of a blind playthrough, like I said. So I don't know how to do any. Here, look. Can I swing my axe in the bar? I doubt it. Okay. <clears throat> I look a hobbit. Oh, I could talk to him. Tedder Hedgerow. What have we here? A stranger in town. A stranger's just what I'm looking for. Interested in a little harmless pastime. It's time to make some money from it. I have no time for games. I have no time for games now. Goodbye. Okay, so I don't have to say those things. My character's voice acted. Nice little change since we've been playing Fallout New Vegas. Uh, can be good, can be bad, depending on which. Let's talk to uh, Barlaman Butterbur. Hello, Master Dwarf. Just come in from the Blue Mountains or the Iron Hills, have you? <laughs> I'm sure you've had a long trip, and you'll be wanting a good meal and a nice bed. We get many a traveling dwarf here in the Prancing Pony, but I don't think I've seen you before. <laughs> but don't mind me. I'm forgetting that dwarves like to keep their business to themselves. What can I do for you, then? Hmm. What news do travelers bring lately? Lately, the talk's mostly about trouble away to the south. Seems like there may be war or some other calamity brewing down there. Folks have been coming up the Greenway or the old road from the south looking for a place to find some peace. Are they settling here in the Breelands? Well, no. It's not that we aren't sympathetic to their troubles. It's just that Bree belongs to Bree folk. We can't take in a lot of outsiders. And the truth is, I don't like the look of a lot of these newcomers. 
Some of them have mischief on their minds. Hmm. I may have need of a few things before I leave town. Where should I look? Well, we have stores and shops here in town, but I suspect most of them wouldn't suit your needs. Hmm. You might try Adelgar Oldbank's shop. He's got a collection of unusual items which might interest you. It's right across the street from here, uh, on the corner. If it's repairs you need, try Elman Brushwood, our blacksmith. His smithy is just across the street, but there on the corner. I'd best be on my way. I swear that dude was cross-eyed. All right. Guess we'll go find out what to do from here. Okay. So we've got shift is to sprint. Can I roll? Control seems to be a guard of some sort. This is interesting. Control puts me in this stance. Let's take a look at the at the uh, stuff here. I'm sure it'll walk us through, but I just want to see. Um, oh, in here, I noticed this. So I turned on gore, of course, for our purposes. Um, I guess if you have younger kids and you want to let them play this, I'm sure it's appropriate. You can just turn the gore off, which kind of nice, you know, get kid, younger kids into games like these, but whatever. Subtitles, uh, we want those on. And it says damage numbers. It had it on on. I shut it off. Let's leave them on for now. If they get super irritating, if they're just going to be like, wow, and just throwing numbers the whole time, I don't want that. Um, okay. I don't see any control settings, so I guess we're going to go for it. Can I save at any time? Does not look like it. Cue to display where your allies are located. Oh, we got a mini map. So that just briefly comes up. Interesting. Okay. All right, here's our blacksmith. Talk to the smith to repair great. So we got to repair stuff. All right. Is there an inventory? Yeah, tab. Okay. I don't think the character models for 2011 look half bad. When this does, I have the budget of The Witcher Three. No. But yeah. I probably should. Okay. Looks like our gear's actually got a little bit of damage to it. Which makes sense. Let's look here. Items. We've got some bolts. We've got. Oh, skill lines. Okay. Interesting. So we have. We can get a shield with this guy. So we can either go two handed. Or we can go sword and. Or, you know, maybe not sword and board, but one handed shield. Um. I quite like playing tanks in games like this. Let's see, quest, four nost. Um, we've got, hmm. We have some interesting things going on here. Okay, complete quest, no complete tutorial. Right. Stats, okay, we do have stats. So yeah, it is like an RPG in that sense. You got strength, dexterity, stamina, will, melee, ranged. Okay, looks like we got a fair amount of things here. Armor. Hmm. Interesting, folks. Sorry, I'm trying to get as much of the boring stuff out of the way today in this first episode as I can. Groth. What's Good up? To see another dwarf in town. Yeah. And that's it. Alrighty then, Groth. Inspect this. Oh, if these folk knew the danger that threatens them, they'd never find the courage to leave their houses. Interesting. So these little orbs appear to be... This is bothering me. I can't put my weapon away from just a roleplay standpoint, but it doesn't look like that's part of the game. That's okay. I can live with that. You go to these, you push E, and your character gives disposition on what's going on. Who could live in a town where it's always raining? It's depressing. All right. Bree. I remember walking around Bree in Lord of the Rings Online a little bit pretty place. Alright, so I'm guessing we go over here. Okay, what, what was that? There was another message. Gather your party. Okay, so everyone's got to be here. So, oh! So this is, must be like a hub you come back to. Interesting. 
kind of Destiny with the tower type stuff. But no, I wasn't a fan of Destiny. But I said, argument for a different day. Look at this. Okay. Wow. So right away, we're going to travel to Fordos? Hey, there's this Dark Lord with an army of orcs. You three look like you can handle yourselves. Go take them out. All right. Travel there. Anyone else find it curious? They didn't mention why we were at that ambush. Oh, here we go. This is foremost, yet I see no sign of the enemy. These ruins could hide a large army. We might even now be under the gaze of unfriendly eyes. Well, we came to provide a distraction for Aragorn, and what better way to do that than walking in the front door? Let's be about it. Hmm. Far and I agree. Oh, look, orcs! Servants oh. of darkness! Oh, there they are. I'll oh, shoot them with the bow. Here we go. Do so, like a power attack? Or is it just... Okay, the yellow. I heard so. I read something about the yellow over their heads too. And I, oh, I turned it up. Behind. That's a critical thing over their heads. I can do a critical attack. All right. Wonder if I can. Okay. When use okay, press right mouse button to perform a critical when a yellow appears. Aha! It's your heavy. All right, all right. I can dig that. Uh, while blocking, press left mouse button to push enemies back. Okay, so control is block. Interesting. All right, so right click during yellow, get a crit. Come get some. Critical. Oh, it's kind of assassin's creed in the sense that as long as I'm pushing block, I mean it's gonna it's gonna let me block. The, did a bag of coins just come off that guy? Interesting. Get a crit. Oh nice. Ooh. Okay, I kinda like that. I like that little bit of slow-mo in there. Looks like we got an XP bar and a level at the bottom left. Um, what's the blue I want? Because I don't have magic. Hmm. Interesting. We don't have to loot bodies. It already gives us a loot. That's kind of nice. Okay, proceed. Archers on the stairs! Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, jeez. So it looks like we're gonna get to do some pretty... Good, uh, oh, geez. I actually got lit there a little bit. I wonder if our teammates are doing alright. I'll bet you they can go down and whatnot as well. Okay, so it's pretty responsive on the block. So it's like right there, if somebody comes up behind me, I can get a quick block in on them. Man, playing this makes me want to play Shadow of War so bad. I can't wait for that to come out. You're solely hurt? I'm coming, ally. Oh, I can smash barrels. Classic. They're bringing reinforcements. Leave my lady friend alone. Sorry for my horrible combat skills at the moment. I'm still trying to learn what's going on. Okay, hit them again when they're bad. Solid advice. Oh, final blow. Oh, it looks like we want to use that block button a little bit. Level has increased. Press tab. Okay, really quick. Let's look here. Okay, so for this level, I guess we have to level strength. Get some points. Okay, so strength affects our melee damage. That makes sense. Alrighty. Um, let's confirm. Yes, keep changes. And then we get a point to spend in here. So the question becomes, what do we want to be in this playthrough? So we've got... 
striking a single melee target for high damage. We've got area damage. And we've got armor health and melee damage. So we kind of have like a tanking tree for taunting. I kind of want to go AoE. Um, I think I have to get them in a certain order, I'm sure. Requires a sword. I don't know where I went. Interesting. So some of these require right there. Requires shield. Requires sword. Um, sorry, I'm just kind of clicking around here. Explosive shot for your crossbow. That could be kind of cool. To follow sweepy attack with a devastating area. Requires an axe, hammer, or mace. That's what we want. Okay, let's get the increased damage with two-handed melee weapons. That sounds solid. And it looks like it healed us too. How do I get my other weapon out? Oh, there we go. Mouse wheel. Oh, I can reload this thing faster than I can reload my revolver in New Vegas. Look at this guy. Block. Leave her alone. Wonder if anyone's gonna show me my allies help. They level two. Can I level them up at all? Or do they level themselves? Sorry, just got a peek here for a sec. Oh, press two to strike at multiple enemies over a wide area. Oh, that's how we do our point. Okay. Aha, I see how this works. Confirm. Yes, two changes. So now if I press two. Oh, that's what the blue is. Kinda MMO like. Uh, you kind of you have a bar that gives you some resources. Look like they regenerate. I'm sure there's gear to regenerate those. I'm a uh, for those of you who don't know me, um, I am a big fan of Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, I've been taking a break from it for a while now. It's a great game. I just you've been playing it since Alpha. You know, at some point you're gonna get a little bored. Ooh, Hunter's Cow. I wonder if after missions, if I can equip my companions and stuff, what my carry space is and whatnot. Okay, so, anyways, I'm a big fan and kind of a very small, scaled-down version of what's going on there. We have active combat, but we have some abilities we can fire off with our resource pool uh, via some tooltips. Looks like a weapon. Strong bolts. Crossbow. Doesn't look like my allies are picking up much for loot. Um, yeah, this strikes me as a pretty much a, a straight up hack and slash, but I have, you know, you can get this game on sale for really good value. That's one reason I picked it up. I think I spent like, what was it? It was under 10 bucks, I want to say, for it. And I think I'll get some enjoyment from it. So, alright, let's see what we got going on up here. Yeah. You know, keep an open mind. I mean, yeah, it may stay the same throughout the whole game. It may not. I don't know. Oh. Is everyone unhurt? These ruins are not sound. We must find a way out of these pits. I can. Okay, so since I'm the dwarf, I think I can. There's a hidden way through this wall. Yep. I can break down walls. Awesome. Can get some armor going on. Oh, that kind of sounds like a cave troll, doesn't it? Let's take a look at our armor. I can't equip that. Because you are the wrong class. Okay, that's definitely for our uh, ranger friend. Go figure. Ooh. What's the best? I see. Durability. This one gives more armor, but it's way less durable. Let's go with the fully repaired hunter's chest. Let's just look at how these look. Okay. These two, physic, I, you know, from this standpoint, they look identical. Um, yeah, I'm okay with that. For Like I said, is it going to have the depth of some other games? No, I don't think so. But that's alright. Proceed. So these are, like I said, almost very 
Oh, what the heck, goblins? I'm guessing that's what they're doing there. Whatever it was, it has way less health. Definitely goblins. Where are my friends? I wonder how I can get them orders. I'll look through the tutorial menu here in a second. We should probably know how to get off before we get too far into the game. These goblins are small, but deadly all the same. Screw our area. Can't do that yet. There's a cooldown on that ability. I wonder if you need to show me a cooldown. I don't think it does. difficulties they can. I'm almost like three of them. Yeah, take that. Gotta get all that gold, people. We could kill everything. Ah, I lied. There's more. Okay. The gate is open. Aha! I still think it's this gate. We're supposed to go through. Creature could be making those cries. Okay, girl. I've seen the movies. Oh no, actually, that sounds like that sounds like an eagle. Oh, God. It is. Got some speed issues, you know. Whatever, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'd say that's been the case the whole time we've been in here, lady. Let's free the eagle. Can I free it? Oh, yeah. Get this eagle out now, but that's what we need. Heck yeah, let's do it. We got an eagle. This would just be freaking fun, I think, with a couple of buddies going to town on that. Include everything, because we might not get to it. I don't know. What shield? We'll see. I might end up going shield. I wonder if there's a respect.
I thank you, friends. Without your timely arrival, my death would have been slow, but certain. No need to thank us. We're always happy to kill goblins. But who are you? I am called Bellaram. My home is in the Misty Mountains, and I serve Gwaihir, Lord of Eagles. Who is it I have to thank for my rescue? I am Farin, a dwarf of Erebor, and King Dane is my lord. My friends here are Andriel and Eridan. Then I am indebted to you, Farin of Erebor, and to your friends. What brought you to Fornos, Bellaram? I often range far across the lands of the north, gathering news for Gwaihir, my lord. When I saw activity here in long-abandoned Fornost, I grew curious and flew lower to investigate. What did you see? Goblins and other foul folk are working within the ruins. They appear to be preparing for war, building siege engines and stockpiling arms. Have you seen any sign of the one who leads this rabble? I saw a tall man, heavily armored, the goblins obeyed his commands. Who he is, I cannot say, but he had an aura of menace, like one tainted by the shadow. Agandar, it must be. You know this man? He serves the Dark Lord. We have a grudge to settle with him. I will assist you, but it will be perilous. The enemy has positioned war machines upon the inner wall. They limit my ability to fly freely. If we could reach the top of the wall, we might be able to destroy the machines. Beyond those doors, you will find a passage and stairs leading up to the wall. The machines are certain to be heavily guarded. We have little chance of surprising the goblins with but one way to approach. I will take to the air and draw their fire. If we are fortunate, that will allow you to gain the top of the wall unobserved. Good. Let's get after them. All right, well, looks like we've made some friends with an eagle. That, uh, that's never a bad idea. They're pretty cool. Yeah, it does let us kind of go through and loot everything afterwards. I'll probably start, you know, if I sense a pattern, which I am, I'll start uh, clearing out the loot and kind of cutting these parts. Um, like I said, this is kind of our test run episode here. Also, I hope the volume's okay. I might bump it a little bit for the next one. Ooh, Mountain Ford shoulders. Mace. Stone cutter sound. Looks like we got some loot specific to my guy. Oh, we can level up again. Man, it's only letting me put him in strength. That is interesting. Confirm. Yes. Um, temporarily increase on... Well, we might as well get these basic... Basic abilities. So now, hang on, did I unlock it or no? I feel like I didn't. Hang on, right here. So we gotta go add point. And then we can confirm. Yes. So we'll have like this time. It adds health, mana, and armor. Now I'm getting mad. And then we have a timer in the bottom left. Okay. Alright. Fair enough. Let's put on a helmet. Put on our shoulder. Ooh. So I get that awesome dwarf look. And let's go shield and, and mace, huh? Oh, yeah. Can still spin? Yeah, I can still spin, so we haven't wasted any of our points. Might as well get these basic abilities and then we can kind of go through the skill lines and figure out what we want, huh? That's blocked off. <coughs> Well, like I said, riveting on the looting. I know, I know. I'm learning with you guys. So, let's, so let's take a look here. They actually look pretty sweet. Man, that mouse wheel thing is sensitive. It's just bam. Crossbow, bam. Interesting I can't save it well, though. What is this? Oh. Buy, sell, return to Bree. Buy. Okay. So we go back. We sell. Well, let's look here. I have. I can sell this mace. I 
can sell that dwarf axe. I can sell... Huh. I'm gonna sell our original chess piece. I'm gonna keep this other one, see if we can get it repaired. Hunters... Oh, there's sets! A pair of the lore master. So interesting. So I wonder, yeah, there must be sets kind of like an MMO that you get all the pieces and it makes you stronger. That's very interesting. Kind of a nice little, you know, loot feature. 40 bolts. Okay, we have golden bracelet, ceramic urn. I don't know if these are for, if we can craft with these. I think I'm going to keep them because I don't know what to do with them so far. If they're just to sell, that's going to be disappointing. So, Alright, well that was interesting. Let's proceed. Oh, here we go. Oh, so it's kind of arcadey. It kind of is like those old school, if you remember the movie games, the two towers of Return of the King games, which were phenomenal in my opinion, hack and slash games. It's kind of back in the vein of those with a little bit of gear stuff, which I'm okay with. Um, imagine that the human control player did the best. Shocker. AI seems all right. I feel like at higher difficulties, if they don't get cranked up, it's going to be really ugly. Uh, secrets found one. Level total one of five. Okay, at this point, I can continue or swap a character. So I think we're going to click. Uh... Okay, so we must be at the end of the thing. Let's click continue. See what happens. All right, intro mission, take it for what it's worth. We've reached the top of the wall. Mm. Now to find and destroy the war machines. And quickly, Bellarom is in danger. Find the edge, it's a long way down. Yes, it is. We gotta destroy the war machines. All right. Block arrows and whatnot. I feel like this I'll have to wait. This is our try here. Oh man, pick up the stupid man. He's not dead. He just got up behind me. Pop a potion. Can I use a potion? Oh no. All right. I guess we get to find out what happens when we go down. Your AI. Look at the AI going to try to get it. I'm in your deck. Okay, first impression is AI is not the best. Okay, I just hope that they're right for this game. I keep trying to like that for the map, but it's not. It's too hard. That's not going to be pretty good. Two of them. That's all right. Good mechanics, Justin. Not being a critic. Right. Okay, 
Let's see what's up ahead. No? Oh, that time, no loading screen. Just proceed. Okay. It's very... button to block. I keep doing that. Oh, I did call it a evil friend. Oh, okay, I called in our evil friend. He took out like one dude right there. I don't know if I targeted the wrong thing or what. My allies don't move. That's King Dane would be proud. The wall is clear. Well done. I am free to fly unhindered. But there are others fighting in the city. They may need our help. Could it be Elrond's sons? I cannot say. But they move with stealth, and they leave a trail of slain enemies in their wake. That sounds like Eladan and Elro here on both accounts. They are likely heading for the Citadel, just as we are. Then let's push on. Maybe we'll meet up with them. I will shadow your movements from above. In open ground, I can strike against our foes. Call on me when the need is great. Okay, well... Gonna move in and find Elrond's boys, I guess. But I think that's gonna do it for our first episode. Um, you know, sorry this was very raw. I did, I'm probably not gonna cut out much, if anything at all. Uh, I have, from what I've seen here, I've decided that I'm going to edit the episodes down. This is why the Let's Plays, I didn't watch any, but I just peeked at some. Um, that's probably why the episodes are shorter, because they're keeping in cutscenes and probably really good kills and fighting moments, and that's probably about it. So, we'll see where it goes. Look at that sexy dwarf. Fought in. Man, he's sexy. Oh, hang on a second, before we go. She's got a sword and a staff, and he's dual wielding an axe and a sword. Okay. So maybe there's more gear possibilities than I thought. Have to do a little more research. Oh, 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 aired it. Oh. Having a little trouble there, my There you go. Just, just, shh. It's okay. It's okay. Aragorn would be proud. We'll see you next time.